Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're taking a look at the TP-Link um, AC2300 wireless router. This is a gigabit router that's going to connect all of your smart home devices together to give you the best experience. Now this is the last video in our video series for smart home uh, technology. And today we're gonna take a deep look into the Archer uh, C2300. And this is a gigabit router that's really gonna do well when it comes to serving your home, their 4K content, gaming needs, as well as all these connected devices that we've been reviewing over the last uh, several days. So let's take a look at some of the features. We'll do the unboxing and then we'll go through um, some interface reviews and things of that nature. Let's get to it. Now make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can get notified when new videos of this type uh, just show up on the channel. We're doing videos uh, many times a week so you'll be able to get notified immediately. And by the way, it's also free so just click on that button right there. So now uh, taking a look at this router, really as we've been looking at the smart home technology, uh, many of my friends and family when uh, they're upgrading or getting either a Google Home or an Amazon Alexa and I ask them when was the last time they looked at their router, uh, they probably have it in a very long time. And because of that, it's always good to take a look at some of the newer router technology that is going to make accessing um, Netflix, um, Amazon content, or Google content, or any kind of streaming content from Sling much uh, easier and faster. So this router definitely is, falls into that category. Uh, it does have um, technology that's going to uh, ensure that you have stutter-free uh, type experience. You'll notice that uh, there are several uh, uh, features here. Uh, first of all, the fact that it has a 1.8 gigahertz uh, dual core router, um, that it has range boost technology, and I think that that's kind of one of the features that I like the most, and we'll zoom into this so you can see this. So the range boost technology is going to help with uh, covering your home. And when I talk to my friends and family, the thing that most impacts them when they're using their routers is the fact that they don't have coverage um, everywhere. So this router has been specifically designed to help with that. So uh, let's go ahead and do a unboxing, see what's inside, and we'll get it started. Now for those of you who are interested on the specs here, you can see that there's parental controls, quality of service technology, there's also secure VPN and VPN acceleration, you know, IPTV, which a lot of us are doing more streaming. Uh, you do have uh, the two bands that are right now the standards 2.4 as well as 5 gigahertz and you're looking at um, some decent memory there as well as three detachable antennas. You also have the fact that this is a gigabit uh, router so that means that any of the devices that are connected to the four ports are going to uh, share information or process at gigabit speed. So let's go ahead and take a see what uh, inside the box next. Now inside the box you're going to find your router, uh, an ethernet cable, a quick installation guide with information about router password and miscellaneous uh, details set client satisfaction card as well you have your power adapter as well as three antennas taking a look at the back here you have your antennas you can see that you can see all the uh, connectivity the four gigabit ports that you have which by the way you can combine to get two gigabit as well if you do um, connect these this is going to be your uh, input from the internet and then obviously we're going to connect your antennas uh, pretty small and compact in size you notice two hands right here cover it one hand so you can see the size not really a big router which I kind of like the, lately the routers are just getting massive in size uh, on the sides nothing here uh, let's see on this side uh, so over here you have your webs you have where you can turn on and off uh, Wi-Fi which is interesting because you can turn that on you can use this as a router and then disable the Wi-Fi uh, reset you do have USB 2.0, USB 3.0 on this side, and then nothing else here. So very clean, very streamlined look and feel. So let's get it powered, and then we'll connect to it and see uh, what the performance is like. All right, so this is the web page or the internal web page of the router. And I have to say that this is probably one of the simplest screens and administration pages that I've seen in a very long time. Very clean. Everything seems to be very well organized. And very informative. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go over so you can see what you could expect once you have your router um, enabled. And the setup process is just a couple of minutes really. It doesn't really take that long at all. Uh, just to give you a uh, kind of a view of what it was all about. Uh, here is all the information around the connection type. I'll just simulate going through it one more time. So as soon as you turn on your router you're just going to establish you know what is going to be your 
your time zone, you'll hit next. What type of IP you have, you hit next. Um, you can choose to clone the address, you hit next. You set up what your SSIDs are, and if their uh, radios are enabled, you hit next. And then you know you just uh, save those settings. Now once you're done, you're set to go. So very, very fast process. Now here, as we can see, we can see um, that we are connected to the internet. So the little checkbox thing says things are great. And it's telling us what kind of activity is going on. I'm right now the only device connected. So it's not really saying that there's any activity going. And then you have the router with the two bands. Uh, you can see your clients. You can see your wireless clients. If you click on that, you can see uh, this is the machine that I have. And then what you can see over here is that if you have any printers connected or anything else. Um, on this side, um, if we take a, look, take a look at the internet, again, this is repeating what kind of network connection we have. Again, these are the basic settings. This is, again, the SSID and password. I'm not going to leave it in these uh, with these settings, so that's why I have no problem sharing that with you. USB, if you have a storage device or a printer. Home care, so you have uh, some parental controls here that you can enable, so we'll click on that. Give that a second. Uh, you also have uh, QoS. Uh, so you have the quality of service um, functionality as well. So let's. Uh, this is the first time I launched this home care, so it's probably going to take a second. Now what you have here is the ability to add devices, and then based on the device, you're able to set a profile. With that profile, you can set time limits. You can um, again internet access. There's some real nice controls if that's something that you're really looking to do. Uh, you have quality of service settings, and again, uh, giving either application priority or device priority. This is great, for, especially for those of you who may have um, a household that there's a lot of stuff going on, and you may use your network or your home network for work as well. And you want to make sure if the kids are gaming or streaming that you still have some good access speeds. So that's something that you can configure here. And then uh, it does have antivirus. Uh, so, you know, looking at content blocking. And, and all that nice stuff. So that's something that's built in. You do have guest network capabilities, so you can allow guests. Um, and you have a couple of points. You can protect your guests from each other, um, right? Or you can allow them to interact with each other. That means sharing files and seeing each other's content. And then also you can allow your guests to see what's your internal network or not. So lots of functionality here with the ability to disable that and, and whatnot. You do have the TP-Link cloud as well. Let's go into the advanced area real quick so we can see what's there. Much more robust information. Again, if we look at the basic, very high level and simple. Now we go to advanced. Lots of information here about your network and about connectivity. Um, you can look at operation modes, you know, that you're in router mode or access point. If we look at network, you can see here, again, giving you information about your IP address, um, internet connection. We can do IPTV type settings, DHCP settings. Basic stuff, but important stuff for those of you who are really into uh, modifying these areas. Um, static routing as well. If we go into wireless, you can look at your wireless settings. And here, again, you can set up various things when it comes to security, transmit power, and um, all that nice stuff. You have your WPS, your wireless schedule, so you can turn it on or off. Uh, you uh, also then have a little bit more when it comes into your um, guest network it looks like. Oh no, not really. It's uh, pretty much the same. You do have NAT forwarding, right? Virtual servers, so that's good as well. Uh, let's go ahead and, and we'll go ahead and since we're looking at these things, let's go ahead and go in here so you can see what this looks like. So you have these settings. We'll go into the virtual servers, port triggering, port triggering, DMZ, and UPnP. USB sh uh, sharing doesn't look like much has changed in here. Um, you do have time machine settings right there. Uh, parental controls you know, look the same. Quality of service, again, what we just saw from a security perspective, antivirus fire firewall uh, and DDoS protection, IP and MAC binding, IPv6, right? So you can see all those settings there. And this is where you have your VPN server. So this is uh, interesting here. So again, this is where you can configure your VPN. You can uh, use OpenVPN, right? PVTP VPN, right? 
and then you can look at your VPN connections. I actually use uh, VPN. Uh, I have a router where I have uh, VPN connected for encrypted router uh, features, and you know, being able to have these settings um, is is pretty cool. You know, to be able to have that built into the router as well. So over here you have um, some basic, you know, time settings, LED diagnostics, we'll look at diagnostics. Okay, yeah, so that's gonna be a ping trace and trace route uh, tests. System logs and system parameters. I won't bore you by going through all those. But so you've seen, um, you know, all the features that are there. Very basic or very advanced, regardless of what your needs are, you're gonna get it with this router. Um, and as we talked about this, this is really great for those homes that are enhancing and adding all these smart devices. So this concludes my review of the TP-Link AC2300 router. Don't forget to subscribe guys and see you in the next one.